What's up, duelers? It's Nerf here, and I have been just doing terribly in this game recently. I don't think there's much of a chance at all I'm going to be able to crack the top 50 again before this month ends, let alone number 12, which was my high point. Um, so at least that just lets me have fun, and what I'm playing today is a more gimmicky deck. Uh, it's Faye again, just like last video, but is a different deck. It's a Mechazor deck, uh, obviously focused on the more gimmicky mechanic of playing all the Mechazor units and then coming out with your big 8-8 eight, eight ranged uh, frenzy airdrop unit. So it's also aggressive and very draw dependent, just like the aggro deck. Uh, sorry for bringing you a bunch of Vanar videos in a row. I know right after I bring all the Lionar videos around, now I'm doing a bunch of Vanar videos in a row. But they are all different decks. I played the Kara deck, played the Aggro Fey deck, and this is a Mechazor Fey deck. So can we find a match? Finally, there we go. Vanar versus Vanar. So I'm going first. This Iraqi Headhunter is great in this deck because all these Mechazor units, they all have opening gambit. In fact, everything in my action bar right now has opening gambit besides the Iraqi Headhunter, and this guy gets attack from those guys. I'll be going second so I can play two two drops or a three drop and a one drop. That's going to be a tough choice for me to choose what to replace here. Really tough, actually. I am going to just replace the Sword of Mechazor. I really like my hand, I like all the options in it. Sword and Mechazor I think is one of the weaker Mechazor units. Um, I just don't think Frenzy, uh, if the unit doesn't have Rush, is like that strong in this game. Like Mechazor or Warbeast is good, as you can, but Frenzy, they just don't seem to get a lot done. And in this case... I'll get rid of the Hearth Sister, I think. Holding on to the Hearth Sister just in case he played something that I could destroy with my general this turn. And I'll play the Helm. You know, I could go like this, play this, and then play the Helm, but I think I want to definitely get a ranged unit up and going. Play that on the Mana Spring, and then I'll play my Helm of Mechazor. Way in the back. So, 40% on the way there already. We need to play 5 Mechazor units to get our Mechazor. And we're going to try to make our way to the other half of the battlefield so we can potentially attack with a Rush. Ah, unfortunately that's a good counter to that because he's able to destroy that rather easily now. So that kind of sucks. Uh, I'll get rid of the flash freeze, maybe. Um. Okay, not a great turn here. I'm gonna just have to attack that. And then I will Well, whatever I play back here won't be hit by anything. But so I'll just play the Iraqi Headhunter. Oh, it's actually really tough. Anywhere I go is actually being attacked. Um, I'll chromatic cold in that case. And then play the Iraqi back here. That way, nothing is directly threatening it. Okay, that's the best way I could is on that turn. And gotta watch out, we're playing Faye, so we don't want to line our units up in the same column as our general because of this Bloodborne spell. Prime Shield Master. 
unfortunately do not have the dispel for that. Okay, well, how much attack can I amass with the Iraqi Headhunter? I can get up to... I can get up to five and then this would finish it up, but I can't afford all that actually. Can't quite afford afford all that. Um hmm. I really want to destroy that. Let's get rid of this Iraqi headhunter. Oh, because I know what I'm gonna do. I just have to play the Hearth Sister and move the Vest Crystal Cooker in this row and then play this. And I'll cost three and then I'll have two more to play the Iraqi Hunter. And I guess I'll hold on to the Cannon of Mechazor. I don't really want to lose it. Okay, so play that there. Switch places. Now I play this. And playing another one of those. I guess I should have played this before I played the Hearth Sister. Whoops. Oops. Lost out on three attack on that, I guess. Bit of a mistake. Could be costly. Okay, so next turn I can play two of these and I'll be one away from the Mechazor. But then I'm top decking, which is not what I really want to do. Arctic Displacer. What the? It's in a place where I can't deal any damage to it, so... I don't know, I guess I... Won't bother with it. Um, guess not. Uh, I will. I'm gonna hope for something bigger. I'm gonna replace the wings. Hearth sister. How much damage can I get with these guys now? That would be... If I play both of these, they both go up by 4 attack. And they can both attack this. So this becomes a 5 attack, this becomes a 7 attack, that's enough for 12 damage. Which is not quite enough to win the game. But it's enough that I want to try it. Let's do it. Wow, that was a big, big hit of damage there. Hopefully he has no way to uh, kill me with his arctic displacer this turn. Hope not. I really wish I drew a chromatic hold in my hand because then, ah, looks like he's able to win. Cryogenesis, and then he's just gonna attack that with his general. He's gonna move down and hit me for ten. Well, I made it kind of interesting, I guess. So there you saw a prime example of just being a little too slow. Not slow, but sometimes you don't get the draws as Mechazor and you can't get that Mechazor, and when you don't get out the Mechazor you lose more often than not. But let's play again. Playing another Vanar deck, this time Kara. And lots of Mechazor in my hand. I'll 
keep it off. Almost off, actually. Okay, easy choice from here. I will play this up here. And then I'm going to play this back here. So I have access to a lot of mana springs. And I'm going to keep the rest of my hand. So, this card, Mark of Solitude, is really nice. Because a lot of these Mechazor units are pretty small. And they really benefit from picking up a 5-5. Including this cannon of Mechazor. I really like him. So next turn off, 3 mana. I can play the cannon... Okay, so I can go up to, I can actually get up to five mana this turn. Uh, and I don't really need to destroy this spell jar because it's going to help me a little bit as well. So, I hate to get rid of the Iraqi Headhunter with uh, two open gamut units in my hand, but we're being pretty aggressive with our Mechazor units here, and I want to see if I can find a third Mechazor unit. This is going to pair well with... When I want to do that though. So let's see. Do I play the cannon now? Yeah, I'll play the cannon. I'll move down, play the cannon. Then move up and I could kill this right now, but I kind of want the draws from it. Okay, whatever, I'm just going to play the uh, wings. I wasn't going to play the wings because I kind of want, I was like a cheap. That was a cheap Mechazor unit I could play in the same turn as Spirit of the Wild, so I can get a rush Mechazor in. But we're only going to have four mana next turn anyways, so I wasn't going to be able to do it with anything. Okay, unfortunately, he's going to go ahead and destroy that. And a Wings. Oh, we're both playing Mechazor decks. Mechazor v Mechazor. Well... Unfortunately for him, I'm going to have Mechazor already on turn what? Turn 3? The third turn of the game I'll have Mechazor? Um, so, I'll go ahead and replace the Mark of Solitude, I think. Okay. Well, let's do this. Uh, there are chromatic colds, so I think I will just play the Mechazor up in his face because of chromatic cold. So, how can I kill things now? I don't want him drawing his Mechazor. So, let's go ahead and. Put down the Mechazor. Attack there. And making sure he doesn't draw as quickly anymore. Okay. I'd be surprised if uh, I lose this one. <laughs> Getting Mechazor on the third turn of the game. I mean, there, Vanner can uh, combat it. A Chromatic Cold dispels the pain the space not the minions so even though this has uh cannot be targeted by any spells you can still dispel it with chromatic gold and then follow it up with like a a ravager thing to turn it into a 3-3 and there goes the mechazor you still have to pay some cards to do so so it's not like if he does that it's the end of the world for me <sighs> hearth sister is gonna make that run away i guess Or just push that away. And he will go ahead and dispel it. So it loses ranged. I was expecting that. Okay. Well. 
I can hit the enemy general if I play Spirit of the Wild. The question is, can I win if I play Spirit of the Wild? I can deal 6 damage from that. I will deal 6 plus 8 is 14. I'll deal 15 damage. Plus 2 is 17. I think I'm going to do that anyways. Just to get a ton of damage and because then I have the Warbird and the Chromatical for the following turn. Okay, here we go. So let's get in there. And now play Spirit of the Wild. And you're going to be down to how much health? Four health, yeah. So if uh, Die Sucks is not able to heal up this coming turn, or this turn right now, I win the game because Warbird will deal two damage, plus Chromatical will deal another two. So I think I got a commanding victory with this one. He is able to move our Mechasaur away, but... GG. Oh, actually... Ends up being close, because... Uh, he does heal up a little bit. But... I'm able to hit him with my general, so I do have enough. Just like last video where I played an aggressive Fey deck, I'm going to be able to fit a fit a uh, third match in this video. So let's do it. I really want to pull off uh, a Mechazor plus Spirit of the Wild Rush. I guess Spirit of the Wild helped me win that game, but I want to do it the same turn I play it. I, haven't, I did it once actually to win me the game, but I haven't done it since then. Mechazor, it actually might be my most consistent deck, uh, to be honest, recently. I've been playing with my Agro Fey, my Midrange Kara, my Tempo Argeon, and they are all just, they all just have, like, feels like I'm a, I just have a 50% win rate right now, which just makes me keep dropping lower and lower in S rank. So I've, I've uh, just kind of stopped putting pressure on myself to get back to the top 50. And maybe I'll go for it next month. But this month I'm pretty content being S rank in my first month back. So, yeah. Uh, first turn, I think I don't need these Primus Fists. I don't think. Actually, they're kind of good for where I could put them next to my cannon to make the, to make my cannon attack better. Uh, and he's probably not going to play anything with less than two health the first turn. So I'm going to get rid of the Hearth Sister. Yeah, let's just get rid of two of those. Okay, not bad. Healing Mystic. Okay, with nothing to heal. That's what I like to see. Move forward to, uh, gonna get rid of the Primus just now because I see I have a Mark of Solitude, which I really, really wanna play. So I'll play that, play this, and let's hope that he doesn't, um, He's not able to destroy this, this cannon mechazor. Because that would be ideal. Ugh. That hurts. I was really hoping to get a cool attack off of that. Let's get rid of the chromatic cold. And I was all set up with that. I was gonna have a too bad he had that that combo there. Not what I wanted to see. Well I 
guess we're just gonna do this then. I could, I still have all the Mechazor units in my hand, so I'll have another fast Mechazor this game. Mm, that's gonna fill up his hand. At least this unit is not that scary, but that will fill up his hand. This turn. I will definitely play the Warbird BC lined up here so I can do a little bit there. So I'll play that. And I can deal some damage there. I'll play the Wings up top. Destroy this. And play the cannon back here. Hopefully the cannon survives this town this time around. Oh, I already got What? That's my fifth? What the That's my fifth? That's crazy. I guess Magma doesn't have dispel cards, right? I don't think so, so I'm just gonna put this all the way down in the corner. I had no idea that was already I'm gonna replace this then. Okay, good. That's actually a very good draw because in case he is able to dispel this and it's just sitting in the corner, I can move it back to the battlefield with a hearth sister. Okay, well he's able to dispel it like that. Very well. I'm actually so surprised I had a uh, that was already my That's a lot, okay. Let's get rid of the helm and mechazor. We don't need all these mechazor units anymore. Um I think I'm gonna mark a solitude. I could use the Hearth Sister to get in there, but use Marka Solitude and move this to the corner. So now I have a 5-5 five, five with range, I can just attack with every turn. I can only attack minions, but it's still pretty good. And let's not line up for a big Macintore War Beast, because he does have a lot of cards, so I'm a little scared. I guess I should attack with my general to get him down to 5. Don't love doing that, but... He's at such low health, I just put more pressure. I'm gonna hold on to the Hearth Sister. In case, like, he just runs away from the Mechazor. Okay, unfortunately that is going to... Alright, so he can destroy the Mechazor. He's gonna take his whole hand though. Which means. I win the game, right? Yeah, I think that's the win. Because I just play the Hearth Sister and replace places with this. I can use both of those to attack to bring him down to one health and then finish him off with a Warbird. Well, he surrenders seeing he lost. Awesome. I'll certainly uh, take the two wins out of three games in this video. And you know, playing Mechazor, even if other people don't like it, it's kind of fun. I don't want to play it all the time, but I enjoy, so enjoy it sometimes. So like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more content, and I will see you next time. Keep on playing Duelist, everybody.